Blender is one of the hardest programs to learn. There are so many different categories such as modeling, texturing, animation, and it can be quite overwhelming. You're wondering whether you're too old to begin or whether it's too late to learn Blender, whether AI will replace you and make it all futile, or whether you even have it in you to become an artist at all. That's why I made the ultimate step-by-step -step guide to learn Blender as fast as humanly possible. I'm Bodhi, the Blender Ender, and I've been doing Blender for over four years, helping others with inspiration, creation, and learning Blender. I've divided the process into four simple and actionable steps that will instantly give you results. I call it the Puffs Method. Number one, planning. I know what you're thinking. Planning is so obvious that it probably shouldn't even be included in this list. But this isn't a call to action for you to start planning. It is a guide learning you how to plan your Blender journey with utmost efficiency, allowing you to learn Blender much faster than your competitors. First, you take two things from this list that you want to learn the most. Based on which category you picked, you now know what to focus on. If you pick modeling and photorealism, for example, you can focus on creating high value models. In order to do this, you you must know who to follow and who to learn from. I used to be stubborn and wanted to learn everything by myself, reinventing the wheel over and over again. But when you learn how to make a wheel from someone else, you can now focus on creating a car. That's why I made a video in preparation of this one where you can view all Blender channels in a certain subject. I put the link in the description and you can watch that one after finishing this video. But first you need to know the next step observation. You can learn a lot about Blender without even doing Blender. Hear me out. One day I was working out in the gym and as I bent over to grab a dumbbell, I suddenly saw a Voronoi texture on the rubber with a slight bump and medium roughness. It was then that I realized that I can learn Blender everywhere. You can train your mental muscles wherever you are. Look at your surroundings and you'll quickly notice things about models, materials and lighting that you've never seen before. Learning from the real world not only broadens your horizon as a thinking person, it also brings immense value to your understanding of Blender. I quickly realized that most man-made things are created from only five materials. Wood, plastic, metal, glass and stone. You'll notice for yourself as soon as you actually start looking. One big takeaway is you are learning the world not Blender. And the best part is, you can do it everywhere you like. But first, let me explain some simple rules and patterns that you'll need to learn about. Bokeh in the foreign background, color, composition, and all that good stuff. Make sure to recognize the patterns in all renders you see and why you like them. You'll quickly realize what you like, why you like it, and how to implement it into your own renders. Don't be too arrogant to learn from others. You're a noob, even I'm a noob, and I still learn from others every single day. I like guys in tutorials, stash is cool, and of course the donut man. And you need to remember this, it's better to steal good ideas than to produce a bad one. Don't feel ashamed for learning from others who've put in the mileage. And as a final thing, you want to be critical of your own renders, which is where the next point is very important. Feedback. Reflecting on your work and making conscious what went wrong helps you eliminate those mistakes a lot faster. Here is something you can do that costs almost no time but helps tremendously in reaching new heights. When your render is done, come back the next day and look at it critically. Then change everything you don't like. If there's a texture that sucks, change it. Don't like the composition, change the camera angle, move around some stuff. In other words, look for problems and solve them instantly. You'll learn a lot. However, don't keep doing this until the render is perfect because it will not be. At some point, you must tell yourself the render is done and I'm moving on to a new project. The main point is learn to recognize problems in your art and solve them. Also ask other people for feedback on your work. You need to bring yourself in line with the masses before you can individualize your art. Client is king, but you are the creator. That's why I want to ask you if you like this video to support me by subscribing, but also support me by giving feedback so I can make content faster that you all enjoy. On to the next point, skill building. Once you've made a planning, are observing the real world, solving problems, then the next step is the most important step and that is to become 
disciplined. Work with focus. Set goals for yourself to reach in a specific amount of time and don't ever disappoint yourself. Also, look for the right mentors. You can follow YouTube tutorials for free or buy extensive courses. You can read online or you can set goals like I want to make a short film or I want to impress my family or friends and strive to complete the goal, solving all problems along the way. And you know what the hard part is? It's not the technical part of Blender. It's not about how to bevel, how to add loop cuts or stuff like that. The hard part is vision. Blender's technical side is only 20% of the equation. The other 80% is about awakening your vision. Which brings me to the next part. As I still got six short bonus tips that will help you learn Blender even faster, and it will also help you learn see what you need to see in order to become a great artist. Number one, watch content on videography and cinema. Blender's trying to replicate the world. Blender's trying to replicate movement. Blender's trying to replicate a camera. But what it can't replicate is your art direction. That is your task as a Blender user. That's why learning about cinematography and videography helps improve your Blender skills tremendously in a short amount of time. Number two, film by yourself. Use your phone or a professional camera and see how it works and how it reacts. You'll learn a lot by doing this. Number three, watch content that helps you understand art. One entertaining source is the Corridor Crew with their VFX Artist React series. They often talk about interesting stuff, so check it out. Number four, pick your favorite artist. Focalize for yourself why it is your favorite artist and why you like the artworks, and it will help you comprehend how you want to make your own art. My personal favorite is Peter Paul Rubens. Number five, make short but attainable projects. Learn Blender by creating your own problems and fixing them along the way. You'll learn a lot. For example, I wanted to learn about 3D in actual footage, but I didn't know anything about camera tracking. I didn't know anything about modeling or texturing. I simply said, I want to make a Tetris movie and I'll figure out how to do it along the way. That Tetris movie now has over 500,000 views. It was a necessary stepping stone for me to learn Blender. Number six, set aside money to buy a faster computer. Computers are never fast enough. I've got a beast of a machine, but it simply cannot keep up with my human processing power. It's slow, even though I have an RTX 3060 and all that good stuff. It's never fast enough. However, I used to do Blender on a laptop and since I've switched over to a faster machine, it has saved me countless of hours, not only with rendering, but also in the process of creation. Take into account that speed is of a great importance and the more you can do in a shorter amount of time, the faster you'll learn Blender. Congratulations, you are now ready for your Blender journey. And if you want to know which channels to follow to learn Blender as quickly as possible, then I highly recommend watching this video next.